scenario-based SQL interview questions and answers for fresher candidates. First scenario, you have a table called employees with columns employee ID, primary key, and salary. You need to find the second highest salary from the table. To find the second highest salary, you can use the following query. Explanation. The inner subquery, select max salary from employees, finds the highest salary from the table. The outer query then selects the maximum salary that is less than the highest salary, giving you the second highest salary. Next scenario, you have two tables, orders and customers. You need to retrieve all the orders along with the customer names who have placed those orders. To retrieve all the orders along with the customer names, you can use a simple join query. Explanation. The join keyword combines rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. In this case, we join the orders and customers tables based on the common customer ID column. Next scenario, you have a table called students with column student ID, name, and age. You want to retrieve all the students who are older than 18 years and sort the result in descending order of their ages. To retrieve all the students older than 18 years and sort the result in descending order of their ages, you can use the following query. Next scenario, explanation. The WHERE clause filters out the students whose age is greater than 18. The ORDER BY clause sorts the result in descending order of the age column. Next scenario, you have a table called products with columns product ID, product name, and units in stock. You want to retrieve the product with the highest number of units in stock. To retrieve the product with the highest number of units in stock, you can use the following query. Explanation. The order by clause sorts the result in descending order of the units in stock column. The limit 1 clause ensures that only the first row is returned, which corresponds to the product with the highest number of units in stock. Next scenario, you have a table called employees with columns employee ID, first name, and last name. You want to retrieve the full names of all employees, where the last name starts with the letters. To retrieve the full names of all employees with last names starting with the letters, you can use the following query. Explanation. The concat function concatenates the first name and last name columns to form the full name. The like operator is used in the where clause with the patterns percent to match last names starting with the letters. Next scenario, you have a table called orders with columns order ID, order date, and total amount. You want to retrieve the orders placed in the last 7 days. To retrieve the orders placed in the last 7 days, you can use the following query. Explanation. The date sub function subtracts 7 days from the current date, cur date, to get the date 7 days ago. The where clause filters out the orders where the order date is greater than or equal to that date. Next scenario, you have a table called employees with columns employee ID, first name, and salary. You want to find the average salary of all employees. To find the average salary of all employees, you can use the following query. Explanation. The average function calculates the average of the salary column. The result is alias as average salary using the as keyword. Next scenario. You have a table called customers with columns customer ID, customer name, and city. You want to count the number of customers in each city. To count the number of customers in each city, you can use the following query. Explanation. The count function is used to count the number of rows. The group by clause groups the result by the city column. And the as keyword is used to alias the count as customer count. Next scenario, you have a table called employees with columns employee ID, first name, last name, and department ID. You want to retrieve the total number of employees in each department. To retrieve the total number of employees in each department, you can use the following query. Explanation. The count function is used to count the number of rows. The group by clause groups the result by the department ID column. And the as keyword is used to alias the count as employee count. Next scenario, you have a table called orders with columns order ID, order date, and total amount. You want to retrieve the total sales amount for each year. To retrieve the total sales amount for each year, you can use the following query. Explanation. The year function extracts the year from the order date column. The sum function calculates the total sales amount. The group by clause groups the result by the year extracted from the order date column. Scenario based SQL interview questions and answers for experienced candidates. First scenario. Suppose you have a table named employees with columns employee ID, name, and salary. Write in SQL query to find the second highest salary from the table. You can use the following query. Explanation, the query uses a subquery to find the maximum salary and then selects the maximum salary that is less than the maximum salary found in the subquery. This will give us the second highest salary. Next, next scenario, you have a table named orders with columns order ID, order date, and customer ID. Write in SQL query to find the count of orders placed by each customer. You can use the following query. Explanation, 
The query uses the count function to count the number of orders for each customer. It groups the results by the customer ID column to get the count for each customer. Next scenario, assume you have two tables, customers and orders, with a common column customer ID. Write an SQL query to retrieve the names of customers who have not placed any orders. You can use the following query. Explanation. The query performs a left join between the customers and orders tables on the customer ID column. It then filters out the rows where the customer ID in the orders table is null, indicating that no orders have been placed by that customer. Next scenario. Given a table named products with columns product ID, product name, and price, write in SQL query to find the top 5 most expensive products. You can use the following query. Explanation. The query sorts the products by price in descending order using the order by clause. The limit keyword is used to restrict the results set to the top 5 row. Next scenario. Suppose you have a table named students with columns student ID, name, and age. Write an SQL query to calculate the average age of students. You can use the following query. Explanation. The query uses the average function to calculate the average of the age column in the students table. Next scenario. Assume you have a table named employees with columns employee ID, name, and department ID. Write in SQL query to find the total number of employees in each department. You can use the following query. Explanation. The query uses the count function to count the number of employees for each department. It groups the results by the department ID column to get the count for each department. Next scenario. Given a table named orders with columns order ID, order date, and total amount. Write in SQL query to find the total sales for each year. You can use the following query. Explanation. The query extracts the year from the order date column using the year function. It then calculates the sum of total amount for each year using the sum function and groups the results by the year. Next scenario. Suppose you have a table named students with columns student ID, name, and city. Write an SQL query to find the count of students from each city, sorted in descending order of the count. You can use the following query. Explanation. The query uses the count function to count the number of students from each city. It groups the results by the city column, and the order by clause sorts the results set in descending order of the count. Next scenario. Oh assume you have two tables, customers and orders, with a common column customer ID. Write an SQL query to retrieve the names of customers who have placed at least three orders. You can use the following query. Explanation. The query performs an inner join between the customers and orders tables on the customer ID column. It groups the results by the customer's name and then filters out the groups with a count of orders less than three using the having clause. Next scenario. Given a table named employees with columns employee ID, name, salary, and department ID, write in SQL query to find the highest paid employee in each department. You can use the following query. Explanation. The query uses the max function to find the maximum salary for each department. It groups the results by the department ID column to get the highest salary in each department.